Okay. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. The program will be very, very short. Kindly share it very, very well. Share it now. It will be short. Thank you. I remain the fearless IPOB evangelist, Mazemaratu Mwajiku. I am from Ndiabo. Ndiabo is my name. And is a local government in Ojiriba province, Biafra Land. I am a homeland broadcaster under IPOB. Namdikani is our leader. And he is still incarcerated in DSL solitary confinement. Illegally detained. Thank you. As you can see from my screen there, all other criminal hidden in Osi Hitopa. Ihitenansa. Osumohu. Hey, this place is Lilu. I don't know why I. This is Lilu. Lilu, Lilu, Lilu. I need to edit it. I need to edit. This is Lilu. I need to edit it too. No. Mm -hmm. Lilu. I'm coming, please. Lil, yes. Okay. I've gotten it. All other criminals hide in Osi Hitu, but that is criminal for of um, Simon uh, Berima, APC agent of destabilizing the Igbo land. All his criminals in Osi Hitopa, Ihitenansa, Osumohu, Lilu, both those in Arundi Zog are now in Edenta village, Awoidemili, Imo State. Thank you. Are you getting it? So now, if you go to that Edenta, you know, these people, we told our people that these people are criminals. How can you be running an army <laughs> and anywhere you go to, nobody will be living there. Nigerian army is are occupying barracks, occupying roads freely. And you that claim to own the land, you are running. Running. ESM that owns the bush, do you see them running? No, they only, we only deploy ESM. We can move them here, deploy them to Suso place. They don't run. ESM does not run for Fulani. Fulani will run for ESM. In their duty posts in the bush, not in communities. But these criminals, when government is done with them in that area, they will move them to another place to destroy that place. Both those in our on this all, they have all moved to that place. Then imagine how that Edenta will be. Everybody is on the run in Edenta. Go there. Go there, you will see people have vacated. These are Liberation Army, they told you. But they are des desperate criminals. Desperate criminals. They are Desperation Army. Or desperation criminals. There is no way you can put their name because a group does not run an army. A group does not run an army. An organization can never run an army. Only a republic country can run an army. They will keep deceiving you, though they don't deceive you. You are an agent of destruction of Igbo land. 
So that you are following Simon is not by deceit. You were contracted to join the destruction of Igbo land. It is not by mistake. Those that was confused have left him. The main government recruited agent are the people shouting. The people that are doing the army are not all Biafras. The same way it happened in Ebu Bago, that's how it's happening here. Now I ask you, why is it that government of Nigeria, after using them in Osi Hitoka camp, they invaded there, they told them to leave, they leave, they left. Then I say, we are invaded IPOB, ESN, headquarter camp. But the criminal did not claim it. Now this time around, they have been, you know, who puts the man created these people. That's why he became a governor. That's why he started by claiming, hey, I'm fighting this, I'm fighting that is a lie. He was creating chance for them. That was his opportunity to use these criminals to kill his political talks. The one they called them to kill the that or not local government chairman. Do you understand? He killed many politicians for them. Gento, Simon says the liberation army. He killed so many traditional rulers in Imo State for them. All the people that supported those of them that later disagreed with those of them was massacred, murdered by Gento and Butuzo. Gento and Butuzo. That is temple. They murdered people in Imo. They killed for who those of them. And Hoop was shouting as if he was fighting in security. He was not fighting in security. He was doing the job they created him, they put him to do. He is the, the, the criminals, they call themselves army. They are the reason why Hoop Zodema is a governor. That's why the Supreme Court made him governor because they make him or her cannot refuse to bring Imo State as a blackmailing grant against IPOB. Hope of them agreed to give him out. That's why even these criminals, their operation is in Imo. Their sit at home is a force at home is Imo. Everything they do is in Imo. Their criminality is in Imo. Or their army is in Imo. Everything is in Imo. Their headquarters is in Imo. They move from Okibe to Mba, not from Mba Moto, or from Olo to this, from here to Aaron Dizog. Aaron Dizog is Okibe territory. Okay, sorry. Aaron Dizog is um, Abia or Luzon. They are closer to that. Right? Okibwe zone is Okibwe Mba, no? Obo, Okwele, this, um, Obo, we see two bombers now, all of them. Ishimwe Kanko. Ihimwe Mba, now, this is Mba, no? Right? All of them. They are, they, they jump from here to here, from here to here. They will move from there. They will go and operate in Owele zone, which is Mbise, Obala, and, um, Owele, municipal. But, um, other places, no worry. They move, they operate. But currently, you know, one thing we told our people is that as far as IPUB remove the hands of this criminal and neutralize them from using IPUB and ESN, though they confuse people in community, but we are talking about international and to those that are supposed to know, they have known that they are not IPUB. Now, we know that IPOB will not answer their case if we defeat them. And government of Nigeria will not answer their case. You know they will answer their case. Are you aware? They will answer their case. Don't worry now. No, no. Don't worry. Even from Nigerian government, you will answer your case. It doesn't matter. M.F. is answering his case. They work together with Tinubu. Tinubu, they stole the money. Tinubu want to shut him up. So that's why they are dragging him. Tinubu is aware. Of everything, so to shut him up, they are dragging him. So after all these things, they fell. Had they succeeded, IPOB will answer the case. Namdi will answer the case. But as they fell, they will answer their case. That's why you see us making sure that we cut off their hands. That's why you see Peter Mba, all those that sponsor them, all those that are involved, all those that carry things on, they will be trying to hook them on IPOB because that is their defense. They are the, that's their promise to the criminal. Do it, we'll tag it on IPOB. Do it, we'll tag it on IPOB. So they never fail from doing what they agreed to it. They know you are saying they are not IPOB, but they will still call him because it's the agreement. They cannot report a crime without calling the name of the people that do it. So these people do not have names, so they must tag it on IPOB. That is the issue. Then we continue. Have you seen that they are not army? If they are army, what is, where is their barrack? If ESN is army, the bushes where they occupy, the same way they occupy bushes is the same way they will occupy the barracks in communities.
if that is something like that. But now they are vigilante and they don't run away from any idiot in the bush. Rather, they run away for ESN. Now, how can you be an army? You don't have a place you base in your land. You call your place where people can come and call you in your barrack, where people can relate to you. You don't have an army. I'm asking you, where is the army? Even Bakasi have office. Bakasi, vigilante, they have office. All these vigilante you see in Anambra and all of them, don't they have office? Do you want to communicate ESN? Will you not communicate? Are people not communicating ESN? Now I ask you, why are they running? Does army operate the bush? In the bush? No. Army does not operate in the bush. It's either in the boundaries to, to quench war. But these very people, they call them army. They know that there is a vigilante group in the bush, again terrorists. But if you see them going closer to the bush, they are running away. What they do is hit and run. It doesn't work. In freedom fighting, it doesn't work. So that is not freedom fighting. These are criminals. ESN does not do hit and run. They fight you and push you away from that place. They occupy that place. They take away that place from you. They will move again and chase away Fulani in another place where they base or their camp. They will occupy that place. ESN will take it after taking, after chasing them away. They will recover that land. They will move again for another place where ESN, uh, Fulani is are camping. They will fight them, chase them away, take over the land and move. They keep advancing. It is not hit and wrong. But these people, they say the army. Nigerian army is on the main road. Nobody is challenging. Are you not seeing them? You are you that is going, ask your brother or your sister. Now you see these people, they have run to Edenta. They are now terrorizing them. The Edenta village, that small village, they are now running. They have run away. The criminal in our own deserve, all of them packed into Edenta. They are the people that are telling you, we are going to do one month sit at home. These are criminals. They are now in a dental. Do you know that, um, what is the name of the other community? They sleep in church. What is the name of the other community? They are now sleeping in church. What is their name in that area? What is the name of that? I am supposed to mention it. Right? So, why are they running? Because after, they don't just run. Government will push them to that place. After they might destroy them, the same army will go and shift them. They will go another place. After they might destroy them. And one idiot will come and tell you, if you say they are working with the army, why is the Simon Eber group killing the army? And you ask yourself, why is terrorist Fulan, um, 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 Boko Haram killing the Nigerian army? Is it not the same Nigerian state that sponsored the Boko Haram? They are killing the Nigerian army to, to disqualify Jonathan. That's what they care. And what they do, you put to Jonathan. These people are ready to kill everybody in Abuja to make sure they kill you. What does Jonathan mean? Then I bring it to you. Nigeria is ready to kill 20,000 soldiers to, to discredit IPOB and discredit in, in our land. Now I ask you, do you think that Nigeria is fighting, that Nigeria is fighting against Biafra restoration without mapping out at least 50,000 army that they want to sacrifice. Do you think so? Maybe you are too, your brain is too low. Then I want to analyze. Do you know how many army Nigeria have mapped out to sacrifice in Biafra land? Then they are part of those that they told their APC agent to be killing so that they will be tagging it on IPOB. If Nigeria can kill 100,000 soldiers to stop on Namdekan and IPOB, they did well to themselves. Are you not aware? A man and the Kawan Nukuan and Ega and Nukuanya, Matan Nukuan, Nigi, Tiopia, Nuku, Nuri, Nanukuanya, Kan Nukuan, Komen Nukuan attract. Are you not aware? But some of people are fools. You think Nigeria will be fighting IPOB without sacrificing army? And do you think that if IPOB refuse to fight in community, that Nigeria will not recruit another people that will be taking war into the community? Because Nam Dekanu said, we are not going to fight this war inside our communities. We are going to fight this war inside our bushes. And the Fulani Caliphate army, they are coming to inside our... We want them to come inside the bush. And when they come, they will kill them all. Did Nam Dekanu say we will kill them in communities? No. 
That is the trap we set for them. Now, what is Simon and his gang doing? They are dragging the army inside our communities to slaughter our people and destroy our properties. And they will tell you they are fighting for freedom. It is an, they are instrument of destabilizing the Igbo land. They are instrument of killing Igbo youths. As he is bringing our youth, the army is killing our youth. And also, the army presented their chaff's army to be killed in our land to discredit IPOB self-determination. Don't you know that IPOB is self fighting under self-determination? For Nigeria to discredit them, they have to recruit people who will operate with the name of ESN in communities that will affect citizens. Your freedom should not affect citizens. Your freedom should protect citizens. So, when you are fighting and killing citizens, you are discrediting yourself. So, Nigeria said these people as an instrument to discredit IPOB stand of self-determination. Do you know in self-determination you does not enforce? Do you know in self-determination you don't have army? Do you know in self-determination you only call for boycott? You don't call for an election. Do you know in self-determination you go to court to free your own? You don't attack prison facilities. Do you know in self-determination you will not be against election you can only call for election boycott because referendum you are calling for is also by voting. People will also boycott your referendum. It is their right. People will also vote for Nigeria during referendum. It is their right. Therefore, in your election, you can only call for in your own fight against election in your land. You can only call for election boycott. You don't call for no election. No election is un, el, election boycott is democratic. And no election is undemocratic. So how do you see it? Is it not opposite side that they brought? Yes. Now, why are they running around? Why are they shifting? Your army operates only in Imo. Your army in Imo will fight in Bayasa. Your army in Imo will defend the Cross River. Your army in Imo, your fake army will defend the white bomb. Your fake army in Imo. One person came to me the other day and asked me, Nasi na Biafra army na lo abu nebo in state. O bere ejo miya. Ozbo jo miya njoya. Kendi mo kwen de ame. That's why Biafra me. I'm saying I'm in Nigeria, Kine Mwami. Yeah, be the one. I asked him, you want to have army inside Nigeria? You know, I said they are fighting. They, they, I had they, they are fighting in Nigeria. I said you are a fool. Ojuku run an army under the Afra Republic. You don't run an army under a group, even a group that has no name. And I asked him, what is the name of the group that have the army? Does group run an army? Does organization run an army? It's even hard for the public to run an army. Don't you see Nigeria borrowing? You use fundraising and the falsehood to run an army without a republic, without being in charge of any revenue, without occupying any position in your land. The government of Nigeria occupies every position. They're in charge of everything, and their government is running. And you are running government in Asia. You must be a fool. There is nothing like an army where there is a two division. There is nothing like an army where there is 103 battalion. There is nothing like an army here where there is OB Zebarak. There is nothing like Biafra army where there is Boro Camp. There is nothing like Biafra army where there is um, Obakaliki um, Barak. Where there is uh, 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 Afibu Barak. Where there is a 114 Brigade or 114 Brigade or Hafia Barak. There is no Biafra army here. Where there is a 144 Battalion Asa. There is no Biafra army here because you are a fool for believing them. You must be an idiot that you are here seeing Nigerian army sitting on the side, sitting on size two, uh, toasting our women, and somebody told you they have army. You must be a fool. If IPOB declare Biafra and they unveil our army, and defend our boundaries, you will not see an army at the checking point. You will not see an army toasting our women. You will not see Nigerian barracks intact. You will not see them parading. You will not see them moving freely. You will not see them moving inside our communities. They will become invaders. That's how to see foreigners. They are always invaders. But here they are occupying. And you are now invader. You are an idiot. When the owners of the land is now invader. And you are running an army. Chileke Pokwa Goko. Mbacha yo mecho nelem. Akwa mdo chaga ma bog idiot. Ni woon, iwo an idiot. That people brought one. Mbwe wo mwaka, do you drag what? Fight inside your house. 
you will drag the person outside your compound. That makes you a wise person. You don't want your glass to be broken. You don't want any of your things to be destroyed so that your parents will not beat you. But now you are an adult. You are an idiot. You drag war inside your compound and you tell me it's their family. If Nigeria knew this very plan, they brought it war against us here and Ujuku was on defense and you want them to bring another one again in our land so that we'll be under defense and the idiot will tell you, we are fighting the zoo army. Namdekanu say we need to create the scenario of Yemen, scenario of Syria, scenario of Somalia in the northern part of the damn Naval Republic of the zoo, not in Biafra land. He said we are going to fight this war in our bushes and in our forest and DSN will do it for us. Namdi Kano say he said we are not going to fight this war in our communities. But why is Simon telling you they are fighting war in our communities? Because you are an idiot for believing him. You are an idiot. So this is how to run your army. Even Soludo uh, army, um, security or uh, boys, they have office. So you think if we are running government in Nigeria, we will not have offices in communities? Are you not? You don't. You think it will be hiding? Government in Nigeria is not by hiding to your people. They will know it. They will know the officers, civilian officers, that to rule communities, that you will be communicating through them to communities. Civilian officers, not somebody with a gun. People with gun will only confront the invaders. Invaders are the boundary, not in your community. Invaders, when you declare republic, you have an army immediately and they will protect your boundaries. And the foreign army became invaders. But you are running an army and you are invading your land. You come and burn down your community, you run away. The army will come and they squeeze the whole community, destroy the whole community. And you go move to another junction, you go and shoot, you run away. The army will come to the community with the armor vehicle, no challenge again. They will come and destroy the whole community and sack them. You will move to another place, you go and shoot. Mad people. Ah, well, we are fighting Nigeria army. Check a book, wagon army, idiots. Do you understand? Instrument of APC destroying our land. Is that how to fight for freedom? We need to drag the enemies away from our land. The other time, they brought war to us. That's what IPOB is playing. That's why we calculated them. We know, okay, they are deliver the only thing Nigerian government love is Fulani. We now say, okay, we will use Fulani as the food we are putting in our, in our hook to get the fish. Let us use Fulani. Yes, man. Now, what did we do? We launched ESN against Fulani Hesmen in the bushes. And what do we tell the army? Come and defend Fulani in the bushes. Then we all die there. The Dinam can say, come and defend Fulani in communities. If you see people that are fighting intelligently, you respect them. This very thing we develop with 20 pounds can, may, will not be destroyed. It will be here. Biafra will come. That's our program. We, plan, we planned it. We did, it did not come easy. All these things, structures you see in our land did not come easy. The government did not do it for us. We suffer for it. There is no government property here. Then what am I fighting for here? Am I fighting government property? Is there any government property in our land? Then what will you destroy? Only Biafra property. Are you understanding? Am I going here now? What you go after is government property. Then show me government property you have destroyed. Show me. Show me one. They don't have property here. Everything you see is citizens suffered with 20 pounds. I'm talking about those that receive it. All that suffered, just started. Look at where we are now. We now calculated it. We listened to our people. They told them they don't need war. We told them, okay, we understand. We come with self-determination. We will drag the war away if they want to bring war. We will not allow it to be here. They killed us in protest. We did not retaliate because they are targeting our people. They were not targeting IPOB. They were targeting communities. Why are they targeting communities? It is only when you deceive the communities to turn against Biafra that you defeat IPOB. So they want to use the name of IPOB to invade communities. So that communities will start shouting, Biafra, Biafra, IPOB, 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 IPOB,
yes, it was not easy for us to be massacred, but we keep moving. They massacre us. We, we held on it because we took an oath to restore Biafra, so we will not allow it to reach our people. This is something we have been dodging. Now ask yourself, why is it that government wanted to do it? IPOB refused, and they used Simon Eber and his gang to do it. I'm asking you, is it a good thing to drag one inside your house? Your house you build very well. Your compound you love or your house you love. You will now go and drag somebody who want to fight you. You run, you drag him inside your house and say, let us fight here. John, John, sorry. Even somebody not even motor, cherry log, we only turn a motor, make a motor. Oh man, I got a glass. You get away from the vehicle. You always dodge destruction. Only a fool who go and look for trouble, drag the trouble to his house, and begin to shout to people, "I am fighting war." Ujugu did not drag for war inside our compound. Nigeria forced him into war. He was on defense for three years. He tried to move to the north to fight in a sabotage us. We were on defense. It is not war. It's not how to fight war. When you are fighting war, your enemy will be getting hit. But our fathers defended here because the enemy wanted to kill them all and take the land. So they defended here. Now they gave us the map. Now they laid the foundation. And we are here to finish the building. That is restoring it in full because they had it for three years. That is foundation. Do you understand? So why are they in a denta to destroy that community? Why? Why are they in a denta? Where is your bar barrack? Simon Eban is criminal. Go to your barrack. You are running an army, no barrack. You go inside village, you collect people's fuel, black market. You put it in your stolen vehicle, you kill an Igbo man and stole. You printed a sticker and you place it, you say Biafra Liberation Army. But any road where this criminal operating, nobody will pass there because it's become a kidnapping den. Then look at where they are. I want to we, let us leak secret to our people so that they will be aware. Okay, right now. Let me just read. Everyone re living in Edenta village has abandoned their village and ran away for their life as the criminals now occupy the whole of Edenta village. <laughs> their liberation army then ask them, do they come to liberate and the communities are running? No. Automatically, invaders have come. Now I ask you, are they to rescue or they are invaders? Now, if they are army, where is their barrack? If Yesenka have camps, one day, where is your barrack? Mad people. Yes, is that your village? Make calls. That's where they are. That is where they are. Do you see? You this you criminal jumping, moving from place to place. Okay. They now block the Hiala or Lu Road with a trailer, conducting stop and search on every moto, using the road and killing anybody found with any ID card bearing Nigeria, including anyone with ID bearing security on it. Right now, there are a lot of bodies of people they killed littered along the road with some of the bodies they are heads cut off their bodies. There is an urgent need to start creating awareness now so people will stop using the road because they have killed a lot of road users. Do you understand? So this is the fight we are facing and the government Sponsor them. Hope Zodema, that was the reason. Now, people should ask if Hope Zodema is not involved, what did he gain from all the fight he, fought? he fought? He was only creating chance for this. He has chased away good people. Now, they are now criminals. He's no longer fighting um, insecurity in him, isn't it? He has gotten what he needs. 
He have gotten what he need. He brought foreigners, he brought Dokubo to destroy the people of Imo. For what? Because of power. Every other state rejected it to bring Imo state as a grant to blackmail IPOB. To bring him a state as a grant to blackmail IPOB. That's where you will hear army couple killed. That's where you will hear army officer killed. That is where you will hear army regular killed. That is where you, every news you hear, that is where you hear it. Because that is where gentle kill local government chairman in that or not. That is where he killed traditional rulers. He will cut off their head and keep it gentle. He's, he, will, he served hope over them. Suddenly, he said he is now army and people were clapping. Is that how to live life? Biafra is the kingdom of God on earth. They turn Imo state to, for them to turn against Biafra. Because people are saying, yeah, they started using Omo Oma. They used the name of ESN. ESN, people does not know ESN. But in Olo, they know their own ESN. Because they are criminals. They live in communities. People seize them. ESN does not operate in communities. ESN does not have Siana. ESN does, nobody create, create constructed road for ESN in the bushes and forest. So where will they drive the vehicle? When ESN was launched, there was no vehicle parking beside them. Because ESN does not drive vehicles in bushes. ESN are moving, they walk, fight like gorilla, they fight only to bust out the camp of the Fulani and chase them away. They are not even after the Fulani Hesmen unless the Fulani Hesmen want to kill himself. All they care is the cow. Then when you confront the cow, the Fulani will run away. So that is their pattern because they are professional in this. Nigerian army have never busted ESN camp. Rather, they always decorate nearby bush, put it Biafra flag and call it ESN camp. They, you will see them coming out from the bush, two posts to the main road. ESN camp, you will march on leg two hours, some of them one hour, some of them three hours before you get to ESN camp in the bush. You will more go with your leg, there is no vehicle. But in Olo, criminals are driving vehicles, criminals are killing rich men, they are um, collecting levies, they will catch you, they will threaten you on phone, they will ask you, why did you not support ESN? Why are you not supporting Freedom the Canon? Why are you a example? Why are you against Biafra? These are, they are the judge, they are the army, they are everything, they will judge you, they will come and catch you, they will kill you. You don't have anything with them, but they will kill you. Simon is leading them, and that is freedom fighting. You will kill everybody that we want to restore the freedom for. Stupidity of the highest order. Nigeria, see, they went and brought anyhow Nigeria. What are they saying today? We don't want anyhow Biafra. We follow Namdekan because of his genuity, and that is why we are here. He has been protected by IPOB because he cannot protect himself from detention. Rather, he will defend what his activities before he was kidnapped. But IPOB will protect the activities of IPOB to defend the image of Namdekan, local and international, and thereby preserve him staying in detention without any offense. And that is where we want Nigeria. He is not seeking amnesty. He is not jailed. He is a freed man. So you can find him guilty with IPOB activities. Lawyers cannot free Namdekano if IPOB decide to implicate him. IPOB will change their way of fighting and it will implicate in Namdekano. If you want to change the statue of Namdekano, it is in the hand of DOS. DOS can change the statue by giving any order that is wrong and against Namdekano. Automatically, he will be jailed because he leads IPOB. Even in his absence, Radio Biafra, if Radio Biafra broadcaster commit anything, Namdekano will be held responsible because he's the director of Radio Biafra. These are things we knew and these are things we protect. And that is why the criminals use the name of Namdekano to commit crime, use the freedom of Namdekano to commit crime. We keep blocking them and telling them, no, this is not Namdekano, this is not IPOB. Some idiots will tell you, is it not the same Biafra you are fighting, but you have a receipt, you write your receipt, you print your receipt to do your business, but you go and print another receipt with my name. If you want to sell stolen goods, you use my name to sell the stolen goods, but you have your own private receipt. So why must you do such thing? Is it good to use my name to commit crime? Why can't you use your name? Is it good for you to commit crime and they will tag it on me and you will allow me? If it is a payment they want to pay me for your good work, will you allow me to take it? No. Then why do you want me to take your glory of your crime? It's impossible. And when I reject the glory of your crime, you will be attacked. Me, I leave him now. Do your own. 
Why are they tagging your crimes on me? Why is it that you don't have name of group? Who are the name of, what is the name of the group that declared government in exile? What is the name of the group, the country that launched the army? There is no Biafra for now, so there is no army. There is no Biafra for now, so there is no Biafra government. Any freedom fighter have to rule, lead a group. Was Rike leads a group, then Namdekano leads a group, um, 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 an organization. Was Rike was leading a group, Namdekano leads an organization, Ben Onwoka leads a group, the Afan Zionist movement, right? Innocent Dodge leads a group with the name, the Afan National Guide. What is the name of the group that the criminal leads? And this is the group that you will say, so, so, so group, declare government in exile. You, Simon in, alone cannot declare government in exile. It's an individual. Simon alone cannot call for sit at home. He's an individual. That is, that is why when he called for sit at home, Nigeria will target on IPOB. Nigeria can never report his crime as an individual. He leads no group. The world has nothing to do with an individual in terms of freedom fighting. What we are telling you is what we know. It is not propaganda. This is what we know very, very well. We explain to you, we analyze to you, local and international level of their activities and the activities of IPOB. We will tell you the fact. We will tell you the game. We have nothing to present to us as we are here. We know the negativity and we know the positive. So we are here to destroy the indestructible, to clear out for Nam De Kano as he, he will be out. Right? So that is what we are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They are shifting from place to place. What are you looking for in Eden? What is your problem? Don't you have a barrack? Go and look for barrack in the army. Army, army, Elisa. Nebumibu. Ibumibu. Ibubolo ya rondi zogo. Zubo ya rondi zogo. Bovile jino chani imu. Don't worry. Thank God that our people have known the name of the people that are doing it. No longer linking it to IPOB. I say, that, hey, leave him. I know you are from Benin. That's why you say leave Simon. I know you are from Yoruba. That's why you say leave him. To destroy Igbo land. To kill the people of Inhitenansa. To kill the people of away them because I'm from Enugu. But my father from there, maybe he fought in Imo. So there is no boundary there. Even if I'm from Afibo, Inhitenansa is my place. If he, 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 where is it? All these places are my place. Anambra is my place. Anywhere, is, all this Biafra land is my place. I will defend everywhere though I'm in Biafra land. Nothing will happen. We are fighting genuine battle. Nothing will happen. When he, he get, get a key name, get a key name, get a key name, huh? Mad people. Nigerian army is in their back. <laughs> you are running an army. Uh, and I got from back here to back here. I don't tell me she may nobody. I mean, that should occupy everywhere. Abia state government is intact. Anambra state government is intact. Imo state government is intact. Abia um, Enugu state government is intact. Right? All these governments are intact. And you are running government in Ezra. Run Do they use gun to run government in Ezra? Government in Ezra is between civilian and civilian. You must have village leaders, have autonomous community leaders, have local government leaders, have territorial leaders, have state leaders, which you will be communicating to reach your people. No gun can communicate somebody. People can only hear the sound of gun. People was giving gun. They said they are running government in Ezra. You must be mad. You will run away from your land when your life, the government is after your life. But this one, the idiot, is confidentially residing in Finland as a Nigerian at least. Suddenly, he became government in Nigeria. You must be mad. Mazenam Dekano was parading, was preaching Biafra here. He, he carried on rallies in Biafra land. Right? And he discussed with our people. Our people visited him, discussed with him. They knew him. They know the parents. They know his village. They even know his maternal home and they knew where he came from and from there we knew him as our leader and the whole world knew him as our leader and Nigeria came after his life and he escaped. So he was in the position to declare government in exile rightfully from wherever he agreed with any government to stay in their place. Do you know the reason? He already has unit coordinators which is village leaders. 
He already has zonal coordinators, which is autonomous community leaders. He already has local government coordinators, which is local government chairman. He already has local government co uh, senatorial coordinator, which is senator. He already has state coordinators, which is state governor. Anyway, let me just say that is the language you can understand. So, with these arms of leadership, Mazinam can, can communicate the people of Biafra without announcing it on air. It will get to them because they have rural leadership, not people with gun. That is the only foundation to run a government in exile. I have told you this before you refuse. I told you that gun does not run government in exile. Those with gun will be in the boundaries to chase away invaders, the oppressors. But the government itself must be the people. The people with the people and they communicate and they ignore government orders and they obey your orders and they implement it and it will neutralize the governor's positions and they will become idiots in position. So their governorship will become relev irrelevant when you are running government in exile. Legitimately with the agreement with the people, under agreement with the people. Not somebody suddenly tried to hijack IPOB, it fell, IPOB cut off their hand, they claim to be in charge of IPOB, claim to be in charge of ESN, claim every, every, we cut off their hands. Instead of them to go down in shame, they told you no more IPOB, no more ESN. When the government is aware of IPOB and ESN, you are not a Catholic, you are talking about ESN, are you mad? Only Flanny Hesman can tell you about ESN. Idiot. Even a man in his community cannot tell you about ESM until he turn to a Katoriara. If you are not the oppressor, you don't tell us about IPOB because they are getting the heat. So an individual who failed to hijack IPOB, an individual who gave you poison, you did not die, he will go and announce your death to the people. If people ask him about you, he say you are dead because he tried to kill you, you did not die. That is their response. And now they are running government in exile. They become prime minister from disciple. From free Namdekanu, they are now doing Biafra. They are now going to declare Biafra. And then Namdekan is coming to declare Togo. Namdekan is dragging Togo. Namdekan is agitating for Benin Republic. Namdekan is agitating for Ghana Republic. Namdekan is now agitating for South Africa. And the Simon is agitating for Biafra. Chileke Bogoku, idiots who don't have sense. From free Namdekan to Armstrong, Umundara Namagi. If you are able to pay back on a challenge, somebody name where sense. Kevin gave you the challenge when Kevin gave you the money. Somebody is here, you know, who now only an uncle. In my party, Kevin gave you a challenge to die for you. Kevin gave you. I don't know why you met each other with any high in him. Oh, and I am a woman can physics, and I am a woman can walk, no doctor. I'm not dragging your profession. But I'm not dragging your profession. This is Biafra. One night, I'm going to marry you. 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 I'm not dragging your profession. I'm not dragging your profession. But I'm going to marry the doctor. I'm going to marry you. I'm going to marry you. I'm going to marry you. Cool down. I'm going to marry you. Agro Freedom Fighter. You may not feel them fighting. I oh, yeah, sure, sure say country you have freed. <laughs> if you have not done it, how can you be a mayor and a maya or a maya? Was I group in a dollar free year? But a maya, why is that? Was I in him as no, I can say a mother. Yeah, I know here. You may not feel them fighting in Bumba. You know, I can go and be the on Easter was like, oh, yeah, more so than was like, oh, no, yeah, I am. You may be there. You need to go or a maya for no son. I feel be my. Stop claiming. Thank you. And this is the second broadcast. I think I'll be bringing it down from here. Thank you, Muchineke, for listening. Thank you for sharing. I just brought this one to tell you that our land is under siege by the APC recruited criminals who came with to take destroy our land through the emotion, emotion of our people over their love for Namdekano Biafra restoration. So they took their emotion taking in their love from Namdekano and drive them away from Namdekano and they started presenting another Biafra agitation to them while the champion of the agitation is still in detention. 
So that is they are instrument of destruction. So in order for our people to believe to them, they act like Nigerian government who came to rob our land. They put our land under siege with the army because some robbers must go with weapons to chase you away, kill you and take your resources the same way the criminal is doing. Their activities is not different from Nigerian army, Nigerian police. Their duty is to kill, destroy. And it's still the same thing the criminals are doing. So the government knew that IPOB have exposed their security. Then they have to recruit civilians who will destroy our land in the name of Biafra. And that is what they are doing. And IPOB is confronting them. We will continue to do so even if we remain to. We will fight if we don't care about um, population. We don't care about all we know is that one person that is fighting evil, you continue fight evil. Two people fight evil. Don't care if, if anybody is following you. Fight evil, condemn evil. It will later. It will later manifest. Do you understand? Don't. I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I am not discuss. I'm going to go in. You got to go meet the IPOB. Give me another bank table. Hey, do you want to doubt me? Okay. Do you know how many thousands of people Nigeria have arrested? Why is it that they don't have any evidence? They don't have evidence because nobody discussed gun with the Kano. We have never gone and kill anybody with anybody. We didn't discuss it in any meeting of any kind. That's why we cannot succeed. That's why Onibe cannot succeed. That's why all their spells have nothing to present because IPOB have never killed anybody with you. IPOB have never discussed terrorism with you. So what will you use against us? That is why if we want to expel you, we expel you. Well, no skeleton, no skeleton in the cupboard. We expel you. Ekowashre. Had it been we discussed killing with you, that's what you bring. If we go and kill with Onibe, Onibe would have brought it because the bitterness in him, he would have presented it. Obi the Obi, have we killed with you? You would have presented it. Every one of them would have presented it. So we did not commit anything. That is where we want them. No evidence to Nekan. They have kidnapped thousands to get evidence. No way. And that is where I'll be bringing this very program to an end. Continue to be good. The good will never be in vain. The goodness of Unam Dekano is simply manifesting. And the goodness of IPOB will fully manifest to the destruction of Nigeria. At the end, people will rejoice on behalf of Biafra restoration. And we that restore the Biafra will give glory to God because we know that God in heaven, Chukwu Kabiamana, is the one who gave us the Biafra. People may be celebrating us, but we'll be celebrating our God who does it because. We cannot do it. Thank you, Muchneke, from me, fearless IPB evangelist Mazemada Chumachuku. And from here, our homeland radio Biafra, it is good afternoon from here. Thank you. Thank you. Invite every woman to follow this page. We will be helping them to analyze the situation on ground because the British is behind the insecurity. So you get sense and talk to your community people. Make sure you invite Igbo people to join, not for their final solution, because we no longer need passenger. What are you, Jugo? I am a passenger, but we need people. What we need is that, what I mean by passenger is that we are not begging you to join IPOB. We are no longer campaigning, but you have the right to restore your land by joining our freedom agitation. The people we I value this time around are those that did not join IPOB. But they understood the fight IPOB was fighting, and I call them hardest core. They are hardest core than us. Do you know one? Why? They did not attend family meeting, and how did they understand what we are doing? How do they refuse to be deceived by the criminals? Then you need to give them their rank. You need to even applaud them. You need to keep yourself yourself low. You that is an IPOB family member, you need to keep yourself low. And they honor non-IPOB members who stood firmly because IPOB members fell by the wayside. Do you see these people? They are the hardest core. You cannot deceive them. You cannot convince them. They are not IPOB members, but they want to restore Biafra. And they know the rightful channel. And they know it's in Namdekano. They don't care anything. They remain there. We value them. I will still give them a broadcast. Again, I have given them broadcast before. I will say remind them that we take records. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My man are here. And we go up in a little hill, me. Okay. In a line of scream. Papa feed on Kaina. Gonna have a time, you know. Mm-hmm. Gonna have a time. Eh? It's a gas cool motor, they are broke, a gawa. Hmm? So that is it. Thank you, Muchineke.